Well, we first met at work, probably back in uh, 2008, maybe 2010, no, 2008, 2010, around that time, I asked her if she wanted to uh, give me her phone number, and she wouldn't do it, <laughs> she never gave me her phone number, I went away, and then about 2011, saw her again in the uh, window at work. And she asked me, hey, you know anything about football? I'm like, sure I do. I'm great at football. Football. So, <laughs> she's in a football pool and she needed people to pick uh, games for her to help her get into second place. And then at that point on, it's like, hey, you owe me these coffee or drinks or something. And of course she said, no, I can't, I can't. I had a boyfriend at the time. I'm like, eh, all right, you're a loss. And then a year <laughs> later, <laughs> Try it one more time. Hey, want coffee or uh, coffee or drinks? I said, sure. He said coffee. Coffee. He said coffee. And after that, all history. Here we are. I think I was on my first day of work. I was doing a ride along, and uh, my the officer that was that I was doing the ride along with had left me in the hallway. So somebody came up to me and said, what are you doing here? And I said, I'm waiting for the officer. And so they're like, go find him. He's in that, it was at that time, report writing. He's in report writing, go find him and have him take you back out. So I peeked through in the hallway, I peeked over the wall and the first person I saw was Rob typing away, looking at a computer. <laughs> and I just remember thinking he was the most handsome person or man that I had seen. And so that was my <laughs> first impression of Rob. <laughs> my first impression was uh, probably when I came to the window one day to get a report. And she's like, hey, why don't you ever talk to us? Why don't you say hi? Why don't you talk to us? I'm like, oh, hi, how's it going? And start a little chit chat, a little, little banner. And I noticed that smile that she had from the very, from the very get go. And, I was like, oh, okay. She's got a little, little firecracker. <laughs> yeah. So that was my first impression of her. It's like, all right. Cute, smart, outgoing, funny. Let, let the record show he wants a firecracker. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that was my kind of first impression. I think we became a couple just by extending our friendship like we started going on on dates and just one thing led to the next but rob thinks we became a couple on our third date and i'll let you tell that story so yeah on our third date we had to go into a cheesecake factory we're at uh, Huntington beach a little dinner no actually it wasn't even dinner we just met for like coffee and uh, dessert and a little two-seater booth and chit-chatting away like i am right now just running my mouth and you know and I see I know she just cracking jokes. Cracking jokes. She's kind of leaps across the table and <laughs> pounces on me and gives me a kiss. I'm like, going, oh, okay. So I guess we're gonna get serious at this point on. And then from there we kind of just built up our relationship. But what he's not saying is that on our second date he tried to kiss me, but I wouldn't kiss him back because I'm not a floozy. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first I was really concerned. <laughs> <laughs> so by the third day, all worries were gone and it was okay for then. <laughs> and there we have it. At this point, I just feel like you've always been a part of my life. Yeah. So I loved you forever. <laughs> Since the first time you saw me in the report writing, it was Handsome Hanson. Is that what you called me? Yep. Hanson Hanson. That's my last name, Hanson. Some of you know. <laughs> <laughs> or don't know. <laughs> my first nickname she gave me. <laughs> I don't remember when I first said it. I love you. But I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs>
way down with that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea. We tried. Yeah, we were thinking of the car like, during Christmas? Was it Frisco? I think for us, it's built over time. A whole lot of built over time. I mean, we hung out a lot, traveled a lot, come down to San Diego, just doing little trips here and there, and just, we just grew. Our relationship just grew and grew and grew. We came, felt more in love with each other, and, you know, it just. I think for me, it was <clears throat> every day, every day started being more, like more adventurous. Like he brought a peace and calm to my life. Yeah. <laughs> As he said, the firecracker part, uh, but he brought peace to my life and just every day just was a journey and a new adventure and he kept pushing the limits, you know, and making me do things and making me step out of my comfort. And uh, because we traveled and all that, it just brought us closer together. But then, um, at some point, Rob got really sick, and I remember just, it's in that moment where he was so sick that I, you know, like all, all I wanted to do was give anything to make him better. So that's when I knew he, he was the one for me. I took care of you when you were sick. <laughs> He's making chicken soup all the time, and <laughs> that's when you knew, huh? <laughs> I cooked for you all the time. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Took care of you first. <laughs> we took care of me. <laughs> but I thought about it first. <laughs> sure. So my proposal was uh, nothing too glamorous. We was back at our uh, at our condo. Kind of, she was out. Uh, where were you we at? At work. We at work. That's right. <laughs> he was at work, and then I kind of, kind of surprised her. Uh, she got off of work around 12.30, she got home like around 1 or so. And then she walked up to the condo, there was pedals up to the door, candles to let inside. And once she got inside the condo, we had a little path that she had to walk and a little stop, had like cupcakes over here at one stop and a glass of wine at, at another stop. And it marked all the way to the bedroom. I had a dress laid out for her and mm -hmm. heels and then Rose. back on the path into the other room where I was waiting for her. Um, on my knees to propose, and totally caught her off guard, and totally by surprise, and and uh, she fell for it. Yeah, that was the best <laughs> day ever. Had a horrible day at work, and came home, and then all the stress was gone. But the one thing I remember is I am always, I was always like, why do people get all uh, over their engagement? Well, that was me too. It just overtakes you. It was, it was surreal. It was beautiful. I Yes, he did. <laughs> Loves, I love you. We did it. Finally, it's it's over. Um, hopefully by now we're either back from our honeymoon or on our way to our honeymoon and the adventure continues. And I'm looking forward to many, many years of fun times and obviously there will be hard times, but it, I want nothing more than to uh, live the rest of my life with you and you know we both know it's gonna take hard work to make this marriage work but I'm in it for the long haul so I choose you to be my partner in life and I'm very excited about what the future holds. I love you. Lydian, I just want to say thank you for everything uh, that you've done for me. Uh, over, the, over the years, from uh, my time in the hospital taking care of me, uh, to supporting me in everything that I've done, at work, at home, and all my decisions that I've made over the years. Um, you've been the best support that I've ever had in my life. Um, I can't express how much I love you. I can't put that in words. There's just no way. Uh, you've been, for the moment, you pounced on me, gave me that kiss, I knew right away. That smile you always beam at me, you know, your sense of humor, you know, you're always making me laugh, you're always driving me, pushing me, and I just can't wait for what's in front of us. We have a whole lifetime of new adventures that we're going to have, hopefully family, and 
it's just going to be something where the next years to our end days, it's going to be something incredible. And uh, I love you. Thank you to all of our friends and family who made the sacrifice to be with us on our special day and for all of you who are with us throughout the years with all your uh, advice and guidance and we really appreciate it and just want you to know that we love you uh, dearly. Thank you. You don't want to say anything? You always have a rebuttal. Like, you can start the next one. It's like, that's <laughs> not how it goes. That's not how it went. It's a camera. <laughs> that's not how it went. <laughs> I think I'm going to use that. I didn't say that the first time. <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Is it going to be a blooper reel? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Feel free to. Definitely be a blooper reel.